Hey guys, so today on Spade Mermaid, I am going to be testing out the new Smashbox Studio Skin Finish Foundation. And I have the color 05 with the soft contour stick. It says this full size foundation stick with complimentary soft contour shade easily creates natural dimension. Medium buildable coverage, smooth blendable formula with a natural finish, and soft contour includes angle tip for quick targeted application. So I went ahead and applied the foundation all over my face like I normally would and I'm going to blend it out with my regular brush that I use every day. This is the Wet n Wild Flat Top Kabuki and I absolutely, absolutely love flat top kabuki brushes. They are my favorite to blend out foundation. And I went ahead and added a little bit more in the places that I wanted. It is a buildable coverage as it says. Mildum, I cannot speak today. I'm so sorry you guys. It is a medium to buildable coverage, so you can make it a full coverage foundation if you like. It is very buildable and very creamy. I absolutely love it. And so I'm going to go ahead and apply the contour where I normally would contour my face. So I'm going to apply it to my cheekbones, my jawline, my nose, and I don't know why I did my forehead. I never contour my forehead because I have bangs now, so they always hide it. But since I had my hair back, I decided I would contour my face completely. And I totally forgot to put concealer on first. I usually conceal before I contour. And as you'll see, I totally did not blend my concealer out into my contour enough on my forehead. And it's not that noticeable. It's noticeable in the beginning of the video. But as you will see, as the foundation wears, it definitely isn't as noticeable. It's a very natural finish. So I'm going to go ahead and set my contour since I did it first for some reason. And I'm going to go ahead and just use the light contour shade from the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. I use this palette pretty much every day as well. So now I'm going to go in with my cream concealer. This is the Pat Away Concealing Base by Pixi. And this is in the color cream. And I'm going to go ahead and conceal everywhere where I would normally conceal. I'm pretty much doing the rest of my face like I would every single day. The only thing different is the foundation and cream contour I'm using is the Smashbox Studio Skin. So now I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. And as you will see, this is what I'm talking about. My forehead, oh my god, you guys. I did not even notice this until now editing. <laughs> like, come on. Okay, well, it's not that bad, but still, it bugs me. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and set the concealer that I just put all over my face with the beige highlight from the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. And I'm just going to lightly brush this over the concealer. And this is where I should have blended it into my forehead a lot more right here. I also added some of it underneath my contour because I dragged my contour down really low when I blended it. I don't know why as well. So I'm going to go in with Dare by ColourPop and finish up my eye look. And I'm going to just apply this in the inner corners. And I'm going to finish up my eye look with the colors that I had on the top. Just go ahead and repeat them down below on the bottom. And I'm going to use this Milani bronzer <coughs> as... Sure, I'm going to use this Milani bronzer as blush. I am sorry, Chardonnay. I don't know what you're doing. Barking over there. She says <coughs> hi to you guys. Oh, yeah. She definitely likes you guys. She's saying hi. <laughs> and... So I'm going to go ahead and set the nose contour by contouring my nose again with the light shade from the contour palette. Off camera I highlighted with the Lorac Pro Shimmer and now I'm applying Sandstorm by NYX which is a liquid suede lip. I absolutely love these. They stay on pretty well for the most part. As far as eating it will come off like... <laughs>
you can hear me right now because I'm outside, but this will be my first check-in for the Smashbox Studio Fix Foundation. And so, but I am loving it. I've been asking my mom, my aunt, and everyone that I saw today how they think my skin looks as far as like foundation, if it looks cakey, powdery, or anything since I did set my entire face. And they all said it looks pretty good. So I also think it looks pretty good. I'm going to bring the camera pretty close up and just kind of talk and bring my camera around so you can kind of see a better like view closer up. So yeah, I'm going to go inside, eat some food. This also is after I've been walking. I walked a big lap around the park, which goes like all the way down there. And I need to do my nails, I know. I just dropped my phone, but honestly, like, it's fine. This case is so good. Also, I'm surprised I did not talk about this yet. I'm so excited. I have my first affiliate code with Alien Outfitters. You can use code Spade Mermaid for 50% off at checkout. I got this phone case there. I also have a keychain and a t-shirt pre-ordered that I am currently waiting for and I'm so excited. And if you were also an emailed subscriber already, you also got a $10 gift card like me. And I am currently going to purchase something this weekend with that. I am so pumped. And also don't forget to use my code again, Spain Mermaid, at checkout. I don't know why I'm trying to say it with a fucking airplane going on, but it'll be somewhere on the screen, I'm sure. I got this phone case there, and like I said, my phone is fine. And yeah, I drop it all the time, and I'm surprised this keeps it a-okay. -okay. It's pretty good, and it's so cute. Alright, so yeah. Back inside, I guess. Yeah! So, here's another check-in. I just ate a garden burger and some fries. <laughs> so I just checked my foundation out in the mirror. Besides this, yeah, besides this pimple right here and the spots that I kind of touched and picked at that I really shouldn't do, but I just bad habit. <laughs> so besides touching my face and eating, as far as the wear and tear of this foundation, I give it a 10 out of 10. It is mermaid approved for sure. I guarantee you, you could probably wear this to the beach and get away with it perfectly as well. So maybe I'll test that theory out in another video and go swimming with this or something. I'll see. How this wears I know it is it does not claim it is waterproof I would recommend this foundation and I absolutely love that it has a contour stick in it I think it makes it so much easier and it's perfect shape to just work through your face real quick I did kind of drag my contour down a little too far but that was just with my blending not really the product if that makes sense it was just the brushes and the way I blended it so they're cleaning the turtle tank right now, so I'm going to try to get a clip of the turtles to show you guys real quick. a picture right here somewhere but this sweatshirt I am wearing I thrifted from a thrift store here in California for like five bucks and it fits long like a dress my boyfriend says I'm I'm dressed like a couch today because of the print on it but I think it's cute so whatever I don't care if I look like a couch it's super comfy I just put some shorts underneath that you can't see because it looks like a dress but it's just super comfy nice and warm but still breezy and yeah So here's another check-in. I just ate a garden burger and some fries. <coughs> <coughs> Awkwardly just filming in the side of the road because these flowers are cute. Aesthetic things, right? When you also have to take a picture 
right there in the middle of the fucking intersection. You're extra. I know. Babe, mm. I just dropped my primer oil all over the fucking placemat. <laughs> I picked it up though, it's on my face now. 